Honestly and truthfully, who would actually wear these <laughs> apart from me? <laughs> Honestly, this is a weapon. I don't know about it being a shoe. Look at this baby right here. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Andrew. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're my people. Today we are going to be discussing luxury items I make myself use. Because <laughs> I am that person, people. I like to use my things. If I've spent my money on these items, I'm going to make myself use them. You quite often hear videos of... Um, people seeing uh, luxury items that didn't work out for me, luxury items that I've sold. It's all on the same basis really. It's luxury items we should have spent our money on. <laughs> Is what I should be calling this video. Okay, should we get started? Are you relaxed? Have you your favourite beverage at hand? I have a little glass of a Pinot Grigio. Don't quite often see this in my videos anymore do we cheers my people okay so this video is basically luxury items that i've spent my money on that i shouldn't have but actually that's not quite true the items were right for me at the time when i bought them but maybe on reflection people they weren't quite right let's get started so we've already seen the christian Louboutin. first thing is christian Louboutins. crazy christian Louboutins like this this was crazy this was not intentional i'd like to add so let's start off as to why i bought these shoes first of all I love Christian Louboutins. It's the red sole for me. That's all it is. I love the red sole. My first pair of Christian Louboutins I got Rico bought me with and this stunning pair, the kind of the glittery type. Peep toe, absolutely loved them when he got them for me. Really, really loved them. But there's no denying Christian Louboutins are not a comfortable shoe. I have a pair of boots from Christian Louboutin which are also high and they actually are comfortable but the majority of them are not comfortable especially these but people how beautiful is this shoe okay so the problem with this it's obvious it's far too high but let me tell you I have definitely worn them look at this they've definitely been worn people i spent my money on them i'm using them so i got these because i got the red boy bag which is right here and i thought these are perfect because not only will they match my red boy they will also match my classic flaps which are in black i mean people and for me i was younger then i like to be matchy matchy I was going out a lot more and I thought this would be the perfect shoe but at the time they were doing these at different heights so I've spoken about this before I think it was my Teresa was it that I got them from uh, yes it was it was look there we go my Teresa I think I've spoken about this before and I've ordered a couple of things from my Teresa and the correct item hasn't arrived or the description of the item wasn't quite correct but they're always very easy when it comes to exchanges and refunds anyway the description said they were the lower ones not quite this high but when i got them people i shouldn't have but i did i kept them the lower height of hill it was sold out everywhere i thought oh my teresa has them but actually they didn't so i ended up keeping them but oh, people so basically when i'm looking for a red shoe i make myself worth it and you'd have seen me on the tail end of last year when i was trying on christmas outfits for my night out these were a consideration but i'm making myself wear them because they're so uncomfortable they are so uncomfortable but yes i would still wear them but i make myself wear them okay so that's christian Louboutin's item and number one number two again is a shoe well it's a trainer 
so it's the ace trainers and i have reviewed these trainers and by the way this tells a story in itself in the shoe i have not planted this there or put it there but in my shoe is a box of compete to remind me to make sure i take compete with me when i make myself wear these trainers i love these trainers i don't really like to wear i'm not a trainer person for going out but sometimes an outfit you want a casual outfit and you want a trainer i am not gonna wear kind of trainers that i wear to work out with because i'm in trainers every day practically of my life because i work out every day so i wanted something different and i thought these would do it and i love them i really love them i love the gucci stripe i love the bling bling on the side that love everything about them i had to size down the, the sizing on these were really really weird when i got them but oh my goodness they rip my feet apart like on the back of my foot oh my goodness me see this part here it is agony even when i traveled last year from here to cyprus hardly walked oh my goodness me if you followed the vlogs you will have seen that somebody it was my cousin actually suggested i put vaseline on the back of them that does work i actually didn't have vaseline i had pseudocrem with me in cyprus because i'm that person that has to take these things just in case anyway and i rubbed pseudocrem on the back of it and it worked it softened the leather but i have to do it every time i wear them i'm scared of them i'm absolutely scared of them so i do make myself wear them it's that you know when you're gonna put them you're gonna oh my goodness me oh no no so i make i love them again i love them like the christian Louboutins. i love that red so some people say oh it's not the end thing now you don't wear the red so blah 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 i love them i think it's just when you're walking and you see that red so mm, i love it people so and i love these as well i love like a, a luxury trainer because i don't really wear trainers for going out so this i love it but i make myself wear it because it's so so uncomfortable okay that's that my next item is a sunglass case this sunglass case i really fell for the hype when it came to this why do I need this? And I know I've seen lots of people that still love this sunglass cases and all of that. This was a total hyped item. It's lovely to have. It's a Louis Vuitton case. You can put your reading glasses in. Do you know who would suit this? Rico would suit this. I've actually offered it to him because he doesn't like the bulky cases that his reading glasses come in. And he's somebody that uses his reading glasses all the time whereas i use contact lenses so i suppose it's good for your reading glasses he loves a soft case like this so i suppose yeah for something like that for somebody that uses reading glasses all the time yeah but for me i make myself i take my sunglasses out of their original cases that they came in and most of the time design sunglasses come with a hard case and a soft case and then I put them into my Louis Vuitton because it's a Louis Vuitton sunglass case. Come on, people, let's not kid ourselves on. It's the only reason. And also, this there's a wee lip inside mine, and it sometimes catches. So I have to be careful when I'm pulling my glasses out. And I've got big Celine glasses which don't fit in here. Anyway, I think this was the medium size at the time i don't even, i don't think you can get these anymore this particular style people are not that daft anymore to be buying them <laughs> so um yeah this is another thing that i make myself use i literally put my sunglasses in here because i've got it i'm gonna use it there we go okay the next item or items is one that in fact i am wearing and it is the hermes click h click clacks i cannot remember i don't even care <laughs> there was once upon a time when i would sit and research all these things is it a click h or is it a click clack it's a bracelet with an h on it okay so 
back in the day my people when i first came onto youtube there was this was all part of it you know your chanel bags your hermes bangles i didn't actually realize at the time that when they were buying all these bangles and bits and pieces they were on a journey people they were on a an hermes journey i never realized that i just oh everybody's got an hermes bangle anyway i actually do love them again but i do not need all of these not at all people i do not need all of this so i'm like i said with the christian Louboutins, i'm a very matchy matchy person and i think the first one i bought was my black and gold one i don't really know but i'll link any videos as always i will link them down in my description box i think i have done videos on my hermes bangles my unboxing of those christian Louboutins. i've done a video on how uncomfortable those ace trainers are and all of that but i'll try and link everything eventually in the description box so i got the black h with the gold and actually you know they they have really worn well and when i first got these i wore them every single day and they really have worn well i wear mine in the not the small size but the medium size i think they only actually come in two sizes i think this was like the gm size i can't really see but it wasn't the smaller one it was the the next one up they are a lovely bangle got my white one on which is probably my favorite one i really do love that one i think it just suits me and re it's really quite easy to wear I, I do love them but i don't think i should have bought as many so i bought the black one because every time i was using my little classic with the gold hardware i wore my black hermes bangle i'm not going to keep saying click h or click clack because i don't know which one it is something tells me it's the click clack so yeah when i carried my bag i like to wear my gold h bracelet matchy matchy and then of course the black one i felt was too harsh for the summer so i got my white one i think this is the order i can't really remember but knowing me and i know myself pretty well i think this is how it would have gone and i thought oh i need a summer one so i bought the one in white which i love and then actually what i ended up doing was i ended up wearing the two of them together i don't know if they'll fit up there on my wrist but i ended up wearing the two of them like so and bearing in mind this was before i had my cartier bangles so these came before all of this okay so yeah and then that wasn't enough people because then i ended up getting the classic flap with the silver hardware so i needed a bangle to match the silver hardware as probably my least favorite i don't think this combination really works for me i got actually got this from germany and when i went in to get this one i think the one i was going in was the le leather one with is it the kelly lock i think that's what i was going in for but when i put it on i didn't like it and i thought no nah, i'm just gonna get the click h again click clack click h put it down in my comments people <laughs> you'll know better than i um and i ended up getting this because i like this on me better than the the leather one i felt that was too harsh for me looking on my wrist and i wanted silver hardware to match my chanel bag so that was done but was it enough no it wasn't enough because then what came on the scene i can't actually remember which of these two came next but this one came of course to match my boy bag see people there's a reasoning behind why i buy these things i don't just go out and buy them and i thought well i've got all of these the smaller ones so let's go for the bigger one the click h i think <laughs> so 
and this was quite hard to get so I ended up getting the red one and I kind of loved it for Christmas time as well but actually honestly I prefer the smaller size to the big one I find this one quite hard to wear although I'm putting it on my wrist now and I think it actually looks lovely but there's overkill <laughs> do you know what I mean there's like really do we need all of this anyway it is lovely I do love the colour of the gold on the Hermes bangle so just in case you don't know how these close they close like this and then it kind of clinks clinks it clicks into place there we go so that one was to match the boy bag and then this one I think was a total influence from the internet because I think this was the colour that everybody was buying at the time. Actually, this and purple are my favourite colours. I love this sort of Tiffany blue colour. I can't even remember if there was a name we called this in Hermes, what this colour was. I can't remember now. But, um, yeah, and they were really hard to get. This colour was really, really hard to get. And I do love this one. I think this is a nice one for the summer as well. I actually prefer this to the black and silver one. I mean, they are lovely. But how many bangles can one person wear, people? So, yes, I do actually make a point of wearing them. I think, no, I need to get a wear out of my Hermes bangles. And people, you're going to say to me, why are you not selling them? This is what a lot of people do here on YouTube. They sell items that they don't really want. I'm not really one for selling. And I'm not one, again, to sell and put the money towards something else. And some people would say that was stupid. But I'm just going to pass them down to my granddaughters eventually. And I hope they enjoy them. There we go. I've got a nice wee selection of them. So, yeah. I make myself wear them especially like this size because I don't like to add anything onto this arm here so it's always on this arm that I will always add them but I, I mean I like that look there my Apple watch is finished people have worked out so much today it's finished do I regret buying them not not this one then no I don't because I enjoyed I honestly wore them and enjoyed them when I got them we move on and we change you know we change our mind let's move on to bags do, 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 do. so this is my Gucci Emily and I love this bag honestly this is a great great bag but I bought this bag when I was truly pining a classic flap okay so this is a flat bag okay that's when I bought this bag but honestly this is a great size it is a lovely bag and I do use it when I'm looking for this sort of coloring I do use it but I make myself use it because I feel as if I haven't really got good use out of this bag so it just opens up like so i mean it fits it's really got enough space it's big enough and small enough if you know what i mean it's big enough that it fits my things in it and it's you can still use it as an evening bag and a day bag and it's small enough that it still looks very ladylike for an evening bag and all of that so it's kind of this um, hessian canvas type inside it's got two pockets here and it's got a flat pocket there and it has enough room for a great big wallet and more in it honestly you can fit lots of it it's got this lovely chain it's a shoulder bag honestly it's a beautiful bag it is i love everything about it but i think i I'm a bit of a bag snob if I have to be honest I would rather use my Chanel's over this but it's a beautiful bag I would never get rid of it because I do actually still use it sometimes I have shoes that match this bag and yeah 
I do, I do love it. But again, it's like, oh, I'll just use that. Like I've got a YSL bag, which is this sort of coloring. And sometimes I'll kind of go towards the YSL and I'll go, no, I'm gonna use my Gucci. So I make myself use it. But this is an absolutely brilliant bag. But sometimes I have to go, right, Andrew, use, use your Gucci Emily bag. But one of my best bags, one of my best Gucci bags, I would say, apart from the one that I got for my 40th, that's got the bamboo handles and is well used. This is, again, I've actually, do you know what? All my Gucci bags are all well used. And at the time, I loved them. And it's just because the Chanel's came in and then I haven't really been using them, if I have to be honest. And I'm always honest. Right, I don't actually think this should be, actually, hold on, let me get the other bag as well. I don't actually think these two bags should be in this category because I don't make myself use them. I actually do not, I just don't use them. They just sit on the shelf. I've never tried to sell them or anything like that. This was a wild, wild colour, but I use this a lot. This was a fantastic work bag, a brilliant work bag. I loved it. It's got like the long strap. This was the Prada Safiano tote. It had the zips there. Honestly, the perfect, perfect work bag. I could fit my laptop in there. Everything was really, really organized. There's like lots of pockets within like it's got a pocket here a pocket here a, oh just it ticked all the boxes for me and a zip pocket there a brilliant brilliant bag if i remember correctly was there any yeah there was just a little wear like on the corners there but nothing that would stop me from using this bag and I love purple. This purple's one of my favourite colours. It's my favourite colour. And then it's that Tiffany blue turquoise colour. And I love the two colours together. That's my two favourite colours. And at work, I always wore black. And I just thought, I want something different. I didn't want a black bag. And at the time, Prada were doing these in all the beautiful colours. Everybody was buying the blush coloured one at the time when i came onto youtube this was the kind of one of the it bags at the time and they were all buying the blush color and when i went in honestly they had beautiful colors i absolutely fell in love with this i thought no i'm going for my favorite color i still love this bag i really 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 love this bag this and my number four were my two work bags and i just used to swap between the two the zips on it were never great this hasn't been used for a while. I probably need to wax the zips. It's, they're really quite stiff. I should get some. Is it what kind of wax is it? People tell me down in the comments that we're supposed to use on them. Oh, they've really stiffened up over the years because I've never used them. So actually, these shouldn't be in this video, but I thought I would show you them. So I really love this. This was the Prada bag. The long strap, I did sometimes, I remember I used to go and visit my mum at the hospital when I held this and I would take her food up and I would take her all her things up to the hospital. Carrying this bag full of all my work stuff and keys and oh, all the stuff that I used to carry. It was uncomfortable but I could go hands free with it. I just used to put it over my shoulder and it was really uncomfortable because it's a big bag but I had that option and it was great to have that option it's not a bag that i would normally carry over the shoulder you know as a crossbody but it was fantastic at times like that brings back memories i can even see myself walking into the hospital to see my mum um yeah it was great to have the option at the time the chloe paddington this was another bag that everybody was buying and i know a lot of people had this bag but a lot of people I know of one particular person um, bought this bag. Her husband had bought it for her, but there were there were a lot of fakes of this bag at the time. I got mine from Harvey and Nichols, so it was really um, it was it's authentic. It's definitely it's a hundred percent authentic. 
this was a bag that Rico didn't really like at the time. I had phoned up. It was a bag that was really, really hard to get. Anyway, I phoned up and I got it in the white, which is what I wanted. This thing is a ton weight, people. It is a lovely bag. The leather is really beautiful. And, do you know, it has really stood the test of time because like my bags at the time, I used them. I really, really used them. And for it being a white bag, it really held up well and it fitted loads. It is, I'm looking at it, it is a beautiful bag. It's a ton weight. And, um, yeah, feet at the bottom. It's got the odd wee mark on it, which I reckon I could probably wipe away. But, yeah, I've still got it. So, again, this is not one I make myself use. I wouldn't use that now. Because people, we do move on with our items. We definitely move on. And we shouldn't really feel guilty about not using them. Because I did use them all at the time and really enjoyed them although and saying that this was one that i it wasn't long after getting this that i got my classic flat so i probably didn't get full use out of this bag like i would normally have used my bags so i got this and then it was just shortly after getting this that i got my classic flat i was holding this bag actually when i went in to buy my classic flap so those are the luxury items or at least the majority of them that I make myself use I hope you have enjoyed the video I thought this would be just a little fun video just discussing bags and luxury things which is what we like to do anyway thank you so much for watching if you would like to see any more videos from me I shall link one here here and if you're not already subscribed, it's the A right here. And I'll hopefully see you on the next one. Bye!